am trying to work collaboratively across the planet. I, I invite guest writers into my, my works uh, all the time. I have interns. Um, I'm very much aware of my, my creative process and, and involving other voices. Um, if I talk about mythology, that's probably the highest creative process I have to offer. I've written eight myths. Um, I'm also interested in different arc archetypes and alchemies and uh, have produced tools for kids to try to uh, get them out of the computer and on a piece of paper to draw and write and, and write new uh, stories. So um, all this all this work has, has culminated now into a, a focus on permaculture and helping that evolve as quickly as possible. And I'll talk more about that. What I know about permaculture and uh, permaculturists is that they are highly sensitive to um, uh, natural resources, reuse of those resources, designing with the lay of the land, um, and being sensitive in terms of how they improve the economic uh, and agricultural structures on the land. Um, they're not using uh, Monsanto's vision of gene manipulation and, and, and lawyers. They're using localization and uh, they are they're people who want to be self-sufficient without being survivalists. Well, I'm purposely writing guidelines to the future. Uh, that really kind of sums up my, my perspective on myth writing. But we need stories, and we need to take risks, and we need to consider where we're going. And we need new tools, new songs and symbols to spur us on and to spur our imagination. Mm -hmm.